Hey guys, in this video, I wanna share with you some of the research behind Teflon's anti-thyroid effects. In the recent documentary, Dark Waters, the oil industry DuPont is exposed. And the documentary focuses specifically on one of its products, which is Teflon, the nonstick chemical coating that you see on cookware, specifically pots, pans, and other cooking utensils, and how it has such a damaging effect, not just on human health, but also the planet. You see, the chemical that makes up Teflon is actually a man-made substance that is indestructible, meaning it doesn't break down by any natural means, and is completely non -bio biodegradable. And this is problematic because not only will this substance stay in the earth permanently until the end of time unless scientists come up with some sort of way to break it down and destroy it, but what the documentary touches on is how a large percentage, most average modern people have a certain degree or some level of Teflon and the active chemical circulating through their body and stored in their tissues. And this is highly problematic because as I mentioned and as plenty of research has pointed out over the years, Teflon and the active chemical that makes up Teflon is a known endocrine disrupting substance. So it's known to be estrogenic and have an estrogenic effect in the body. And like estrogen, it has affinity towards fat and can store in our body's tissues for years or for an entire life. And as I've discussed in videos on our YouTube channel like this, the estrogenic effects of Teflon can shrink our sexual organs and glands, cause reproductive issues, and can cause fertility problems and overall health problems related to impaired endocrine function. So this is a substance that you don't want to be exposed to, but unfortunately, again, most modern people are, and most modern people have some level of this chemical in their body right now. And aside from these effects, which I've already touched on, there's research that shows that the plafluorinated chemicals that make up Teflon have direct negative effects on the health of your thyroid gland. In fact, studies have been done on employees that work at the manufacturing plants for Teflon revealed negative associations between PFOA exposure and free T4 levels, so the inactive form of thyroid hormone referred to as thyroxin. In the US, women with high levels of PFOA and men with high levels of PFOS, some of the active plafluorinated chemicals that make up Teflon, have an increased risk of thyroid diseases. In fact, low levels of T4 as a function of PCF exposure have also been confirmed in animal models. It's been found in a rat study that a single dose of a plafluorinated Teflon substance can actually result in an initial increase of free T4 and decreased TSH, but followed by a decrease in total T4 and T3 levels. And in other adult rat studies, it's been found that exposure to Teflon results in decreased T4 levels. And remember how I mentioned that pretty much every modern person has some level of the active Teflon chemicals in their bodies? Well, it turns out that perinatal exposure to Teflon also results in a decreased level of T4 in both the mother and the offspring. Now, obviously this is a huge issue because your thyroid gland is one of the most important glands in your body. It regulates the entire metabolism, your pulse rate, your body temperature. It has a direct effect on the health of the liver and the liver's ability to detoxify substances like Teflon and other estrogenic toxins and chemicals. But most importantly, the thyroid gland is responsible for the production of energy. So low thyroid means low biological energy production, which means poor health. So obviously finding a way to reduce your Teflon exposure and maybe find some ways to support your body's ability to eliminate or detoxify the chemicals that make up Teflon is going to be very, very essential for getting your thyroid hormone back into optimal shape. It is my theory that the number one cause for thyroid diseases today and why hypothyroidism is so prevalent is because of the fact that we're exposed to so much estrogen. And Teflon and the chemicals that make up Teflon are just prime examples of this. So in our perfect thyroid course, we talk about pretty much every anti-thyroid or thyroid disrupting chemical that you might be exposed to today. There's thousands of these chemicals, but a couple hundred or a handful of different consumer products that people use on a regular basis that are impairing their thyroid function in a very similar way. So it's important to remove the cause if you want to cure any issue. And in terms of thyroid health and thyroid problems, most of the causes are related to estrogenic toxic substances like Teflon. So what I want to do with you before we close this video 
is give you two tips for managing Teflon exposure and improving thyroid health. So the first is the most obvious and the most simple. Avoid the consumption and use of Teflon products. So this includes anything that contains this nonstick coating, nonstick pots and pans and other cooking utensils, and anything else you can find that is made of Teflon. So there's lots of things that have Teflon in them. Most of them are going to be related to kitchen utensils and kitchen supplies. So instead of using the nonstick pans and things, stick to products or kitchen utensils that are made of strictly glass, bamboo, copper, or stainless steel. These are gonna be the least toxic and the healthiest and the safest for you. My second tip for you is going to be to lose any unnecessary fat on your body. So obviously you need some fat in the body. There is such a thing as being too low body fat. Fat is a protective substance, so you want a certain level of body fat for the production of protective androgens and other hormones in the body that you know keep your tissues young and strong. So you don't wanna to get too low body fat, but because the chemicals that make up Teflon are estrogenic, like estrogen, they likely have an affinity towards fat. So if you have unnecessary fat or extra fat on your body, this could be a home for the Teflon to live in and to store in. So helping your body burn off any unnecessary and extra fat can be a simple way to eliminate eliminate any estrogenic toxic chemicals like Teflon from your body. But keep in mind, you don't want to lose weight too fast or to be constantly burning fat, which can be very stressful. And to be in this state of fat burning or lipolysis or ketosis, your body has to be producing a lot of adrenaline and a lot of cortisol. So over time, this is why you'll see that people that are always dieting or they're always in a calorie deficit or even people on a, a low carb diet or something like ketosis is yes, they're incredibly lean, but they tend to run into fatigue issues, issues with their sex drive, issues with anxiety or that they just generally start to age a bit faster than normal so you see a lot in people that diet a lot or people that are always in a calorie deficit or people that over exercise they stay thin but they look aged. And this is because of the high levels of adrenaline and cortisol that are necessary to stay in this high rate of lipolysis or fat burning. So with that being said, any sort of program that's saying that it's gonna help you lose weight fast or get fit quick, these are the programs you wanna avoid because they're gonna help you do so in a stressful mannerism. Instead, I'm gonna recommend you check out our healthy weight loss course, which isn't you know gonna teach you how to lose a bunch of weight really fast, but it is gonna teach you how your metabolism works and how to achieve a a more optimal hormonal balance so your body can properly oxidize or metabolize your food and then naturally excrete any sort of unnecessary waste or fat from the body. So there is such a way to lose fat or excrete fat without having to burn fat. And generally speaking, the more time you take to do this, the slower the process, usually the healthier it is, just like anything else with life. Typically, the faster you build something, the faster it falls down. So this is a really great program for losing weight in a healthy way, hence the name healthy weight loss. And again, losing uh, any sort of unnecessary fat from the body can be a safe and effective way to eliminate any sort of estrogenic toxic substances like Teflon that are likely stored in your fat tissue. All right, guys, that brings this video to a close. I figured this information would be very helpful considering how much we talk about the thyroid gland and considering how common Teflon is. It could be for many people a reason that they're experiencing hypothyroidism and these two tips, you know, removing the Teflon, replacing it, getting rid of it from your life and from your house and taking simple steps to lose any sort of unnecessary fat from the body can be very effective ways for improving improving thyroid health. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. If you're interested in referencing the studies I shared in this video or for checking out and learning more about that healthy weight loss course, you can find links to both of these things along with links to our blog and tonic herb shop in the description box below.